All right. By the time you see this video, I will have passed 20,000 subscribers, which is insane. And I would love to thank each and every one of you for that. And I, it, it's getting to the point where I just don't even understand like how big a number that is. Like I can pretty easily conceptualize like a few hundred, but once we get into the thousands, especially the, the five digits, I mean, I just have no idea how many people that is. So thank you everyone who supported me throughout however many years I've been doing this now. And it means a lot. And the reason I started this channel was after I do the skinny. Ooh, it's a little greasy. The reason I started this channel was just to send videos back home to my family. I had no uh, goals, I guess, of anything more than that, and I was totally content. But slowly and slowly, slowly but surely rather, people found the channel and got pretty stoked on it. And one of the things I love the most about the channel now will be riding somewhere, sometimes often places I've never even been, and people will say, oh, hey, Dale, you know, how's it going? Thanks for making good videos or getting me stoked on bikes. And that is very, very rewarding. And if you see me in person, do say hi. I'm pretty, pretty easy to spot. But also, I just love hearing that people are stoked on bikes. So that's probably the main goal of the channel now, is just keeping people stoked. And hopefully, going into another year, 2022, we'll be able to keep doing that. Whew. Now, as you probably guessed, this isn't the usual video, but I figured might as well talk about things while I'm riding, rather than make like a workstation setup, because that's not really my jam. But you also may have noticed that I'm riding a little bit slower than maybe I usually do. And there's a few reasons for that. First one, which I'm sure you've all heard by now, is that BC has had one heck of a winter. Actually, one heck of a year in general. Between wildfires, the heat dome, ice storm, tornado, <laughs> for a cold snap, and even a tsunami warning. Like, we really just haven't gotten that much time to ride. And that's been hard. It's been probably four months, oh my goodness, this? No, I didn't, ha. Huh? Probably, yeah, four months since I've done any, like, real volume of riding beyond, like, a day or two a week. And, you know, that's fine and all, but you do lose a bit of confidence. You definitely lose a lot of fitness. <laughs> and it's starting to show. Now that leads into a whole nother topic, which we'll save to John Deere. Ooh. Wow. Okay, this is like reasonably cool. <laughs> Wait till we're on Dear John to talk. <laughs> Gotta do the skinny line. And don't touch your brakes. <laughs> Fairly certain I just ran into two of my coworkers who didn't recognize me, which that's actually kind of funny, but here we are, John De or, uh, Dear John, and then John Deere. Well, as I was saying, I ride a lot. Like, I think in 2020, I put 500 hours, no, 540 moving time on the bike. And in 2021, I put over 500. So that's more than a thousand hours in two years, moving time. So. Definitely it was out there, you know, a good seven or eight hundred hours. And as a result, 2020 and 2021 is a bit of a hot take. We're two of my favorite years ever. I uh, probably that two favorite. <laughs> but when you ride that much and you don't give yourself adequate rest for whatever reason, there's a few reasons there. And you also don't cross train 
and do strengthening exercises, your body doesn't like you very much. <laughs> so I've had a few, and not really like serious things, but a number of annoyances being shoulder, knee, quad, <laughs> and both ankles. And I never really gave them time to heal. So what I'm, oh my God, there's a mud puddle there. So yeah, that's a thing. And hopefully what I'm gonna do is this year, I'm gonna back off a little bit on the, you know, try to be as fit as possible train because I feel like my fitness, although it's dropped over winter, it's at a pretty good level. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not out here to be a cross country racer. I'm just not built for that. So the plan this year, definitely to do a lot more strength training and also do a lot more like cross training stuff. So more hikes, more, I don't know, lesser impact activities. And then hopefully what that means is that uh, talk in a minute. Those are my coworkers. <laughs> that was nice. I'm glad I caught up to them and got to say hi. I don't even remember what I was saying exactly. Something along the lines of, I need to do more cross training, uh, more strength training, and just really be healthier <laughs> in general. So that's the plan. And I think the reason that this hasn't been an issue in the past for me is that growing up, in Ontario, I went really quite hard in the summers, like lots of high intensity, high volume uh, work. And that was fine because in the winter, I either had school <laughs> or it was really cold and I had to reduce my volume like crazy, which actually gave me a rest period. And I did that a little bit when I moved here to BC, but once I had my shoulder surgery, which is now almost two and a half years ago, crazy. Uh, I really didn't give myself that winter off because the weather here is just so good. And, you know, I'm feeling great. Why not just keep pushing it and like see how fast I can get. But as anyone who's done any serious training will tell you, that is very unsustainable. And yeah, basically I need the winters off. I haven't given myself them. And probably this year, ooh, I'm gonna take it a little bit slower and then go back at it and sorta of try to peak every summer rather than trying to consistently build. So yeah, that's kind of the insight into the behind the scenes. Let's see how slippery this is. <laughs> Definitely not no slip. Oh God. Ha, made it around. <laughs> I have enough air in my tire. That much I know for sure. All right, lap one was a success. Let's go back up for another and get the first thousand meter ride I've done in a while. Slightly concerning. Lap two. It's a little foggier, and by a little, I mean a lot. <laughs> We'll just take this pretty chill. Although this is like really cool ambient lighting. Oh my God, didn't see that. So what's next up on the rant list? That would be sponsors. <laughs> so first off, might as well recap 2021 and say thank you to the companies that sent me product, that being 9.8 Insta360 and Magic Shine. Uh, two videos still to come from two of those three. And MB Bikes. So they've been, all, all four of them actually have been pretty fantastic to work with. Uh, especially MB. MB has been a very strong supporter of the channel and has helped me out a lot, especially recently with some last minute work 
being wheel builds, uh, brake bleeds, things of the nature that I don't like doing. <laughs> so yeah, very happy about the 2021 list. And then moving on to 2022, as you can see, I still have an Indie Bikes sticker on the handlebars. That was pretty good timing. So quite proud to be representing my local shop again this year. And yeah, excited to see where that goes. And hopefully I'll have a video reasonably soon about riding with all the shop guys. Cause they're a bunch of bike nerds just like me. And then I also have another sponsor that is going to be on within the next couple of weeks. And I'm pretty excited about them. So keep your eye out and or take your guess in the comments. Although I probably won't tell you what they are. <laughs> or rather, who they are. That's too funny. <laughs> Ran into my coworkers again on lap two. Good guys, good group of people. All right, what's next on my lists of topics to rant about? That would probably be my new side, uh, I don't know what the word is here, new volunteering position in the sense that I am now volunteering as a director for Torca, which is the Tri-Cities Off-Road Cycling Association. So the overseeing body that deals with primarily Eagle and a little bit of Burke. So that's been pretty fun. And I feel like that's a way that I can give back. Oh, cleared it. Give back reasonably well to the community because I am, you know, a huge <laughs> math and numbers nerd. And I'm happy to have some tough discussions in the background. So yeah, pretty excited about that. Really good group of people. Yeah. Yeah, you probably won't see them on the, whoop, didn't pedal for that. <laughs> won't see that too much on the channel. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty fun. Maybe I already talked about that. <laughs> All right, Boogeyman. Final trail of the day, except Empress. That counts too. So I'm sort of out of topics to rant about. Except, what is the channel going to look like this year? And I don't really, oh my god, I don't really have an answer for that. I know that what I've been doing previously has actually worked quite well. And I've been, you know, stoked to make content, stoked to show off my local trails and do the occasional, like, adventure slash explorer uh, style video. So definitely going to do more of that. I think this year, as I alluded to on lap one, is going to be less about fitness and all out speed and more about just being like healthier. Oh, <laughs> there's a tree there. Healthier overall. So I don't expect that to actually reflect in the videos at all, but hopefully that means I can take maybe a bit more of a chill approach to things. And yeah, maybe that'll be, maybe that'll be good. Maybe that'll be the same. I honestly don't even know. Why are we doing this? guess we're doing this. That's really wet. Oh, thank goodness. So the other question is, what do you want to see on the channel? Because the number of the videos I've made, especially like trail features, you know, some of the Pemberton videos have all been user suggested user viewer. You're not a, I'm not a forum. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'd love to hear what you guys want to see and be it specific trail recommendations, be it like, I don't know, be it top 10 trails on the shore or what to ride if you're on vacation. Oh, ride the skinny. Oh my God, this is narrower than it used to be. <laughs> but yeah, I welcome feedback. Well, feedback and suggestions, always. And I'm, I'm genuinely curious as to what you want to know. The one thing, I'm gonna anger some people by saying this. The one video I don't want to make is a camera settings video because I really haven't played around that much. And I, don't, like, I feel like it would be misleading 
for me to give you camera advice. I literally haven't touched the settings on this Hero 8 since I installed it onto my helmet. So I, like, I honestly don't even know what the settings are. But beyond settings, definitely, like, personally, I want to do more exploring. I want to ride Nelson, probably is the number one pick. I want to do more Whistler. I want to do more Pemberton. I've actually never ridden Pemberton because I don't count the Rutherford zone as Pemberton. Uh, I want to do a full pull video because full pull is a trail that I really like. Steve, you did an amazing job, you know, conceptualizing and actually bringing that trail to life. So definitely want to do that, but I really want to make sure that one's good. Like a good sunset, a good, like fast, all features kind of lap. So that's on the list that has been for a few years. Uh, maybe, okay, I just said, I'm not about the fitness life, but maybe get the KOM on ladies even faster than I already have it. That would be a cool video. And that would be something that I would be quite keen to, to click and watch. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think of what I've been doing in general. I mean, I'm happy to take harsh feedback. I'm happy to take normal feedback. I mean, whatever you want to tell me. <laughs> And what you want to see. This is beautiful today. Boogie Nights closed for maintenance, which looks amazing, I may add, from the photos I've seen on social media. But that's okay, because I'm probably more of a boogie man kind of guy. <laughs> Not that Boogie Nights is bad. I think it's like a world-class amazing trail, but yeah, I'm just not really a jump guy. Ooh. Okay, let's ride Lower Boogeyman solo, which I'm not actually sure I've done before. Uh, yeah, only sitting there thinking, only two other things that come to mind right now to talk about. The first, ooh, this is greasy. <laughs> the first is that despite my day job and despite lots of trying, I couldn't get a new bike this year. So that's fine. I get it. It's the way the world is right now. And the yellow site will be living on for another year. This will only be the second year. I've actually had two yellow sites. I don't know if the channel knew that. Uh, but yeah. Okay, let's just give this a little think here. Not gonna do the main line solo. A little jank. This one should be okay. Just creep into it. You ride like a crack. Woo! <laughs> that is fun, Steve. And I forget Steve's uh, building partner, but you two did an amazing job on this trail. Uh, yeah, the only, oh, I don't know this part very well. well. I don't know it at all, actually. Yeah, the only other thing I had to rant about today, it's not really a rant, more of an update, is that I bought a new camera. I'm not currently using it, but I bought a Hero 10 Black to replace the Hero 8 Black I've had ever since 2020. So that's pretty exciting. Now, the Hero 8 Black is an amazing camera, and I've been extremely happy with the footage that it's produced, but it's not 100% reliable. I have had some, I had one clip in Merit where I, I, it made the beeps that it was gonna film and then it froze and I never got that trail, unfortunately. Dave will have a video of that trail shortly. And there have been a few little like charging weirdnesses with it where it doesn't always do the handshake correctly with the USB. And that's annoying to wake up and uh, <laughs> See that your camera hasn't charged. Not that YouTube is life, I mean, this is another fact none of you probably knew is I film just about every ride I do, but I, I probably only upload the top five or 10% of rides. So most of the footage that I, that I take does not go on YouTube. And that's fine. That's how I feel I'm able to get like a reasonably consistent I would hope high quality level 
And wow, I'm really bad at this trail. And yeah. So be, not being able to film every now and again, definitely not the end of the world. I'm definitely still gonna go ride and still gonna go do, you know, a thousand meter day, but just having a little bit better reliability is something that is hopefully gonna <laughs> help me out in the long run. Woo! What am I at? I think I'm at like 980 elevation. Fun challenge, you go in here, no brakes. This used to be a lot harder. And you see if you hit this corner without touching your brakes. Quite fun, quite fun. Wahoo says, 973 climbed, 1023 descended. Descended? Descend, sounds weird. I'm gonna climb 25 more meters and stop talking. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed.